Hey y'all, so right now it's raining outside, which is has been a super rare occurrence this year. So um, it's really exciting. I don't have to water anything right now. Um, hopefully the grass comes back because that's pretty much dead. <laughs> but I wanted to show you something that I did today in the garden before it started raining. I took advantage of some of the wind that was coming in with the storm. Um, so I had a whole bucket here of amaranth that I had cut off from the garden uh, a few weeks ago. It's actually a while ago. I have I was procrastinating on doing anything with it, but I was just letting it sit outside in this bucket forever so it could get really, really dry. And um, there's a spider on me. <laughs> so I let it get really, really dry just sitting out in the sun. And since it never rains here, I didn't really have to worry about it getting wet and moldy. Um, but I saw that it was going to rain. I was like, oh, I have to... You know, do something with all that amaranth and take it inside or something so it won't get wet but it, I just needed to do something so anyway I processed it all today I crushed it up um, all the seeds just came out of the seed heads and it was awesome <laughs> it took a while and I got really dirty I probably still have stuff all over my face and in my hair but I wanted to show you my amaranth and um, this probably doesn't look like much, but check out what I have in this bucket. These are all the side shoots that uh, came out after I harvested the main seed head and the other little ones. It was still producing more, and so I just let it keep making side shoots. But I didn't want it to get rained on because the seeds are just falling out of these things if you shake it even a little bit. So I knew that if it rained very hard on this, the seeds would just go all over the ground. And there's already amaranth popping up in my garden. It's reseeded itself. The seeds just fall out super easy. You can see on that leaf there's some right there. They just come out really easy. So um, I could probably crush these up now and get a good deal of seeds out. But I'm going to let all these dry. And do the same thing, except this time I was a little bit smarter and I just harvested the seed heads and not like the whole stem. <laughs> uh, so there's going to be less for me to have to sort out from the seeds next time. Uh, but I really liked getting all the seed pods off of here. It was really fun that they're really like when you run it through your fingers, they're just like super silky smooth. And there's still some chaff in there, but. It's edible. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> I got most of it out. It's hard to get out without losing, you know, too much of your seed. So I'm probably going to have a lot of giant amaranth plants shooting up where I did this at. So I could put this in some water and all the chaff would rise to the top and I could just skin it off. But the problem is... I don't have a strainer right now that has holes small enough to not let the seeds go through. These seeds are super, super tiny. Um, I don't know if you can really see it through this bag here, but the seeds are just so little and they just feel so good. I just liked running my hands through them because, I don't know, it's like really silky and fun. <laughs> and Luca helped too, didn't you Luca? He's denying all association with this video. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's bored with it. He's so bored with us. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just had a lot of fun doing this today. And I'm excited to um, grind this up into some amaranth flour. And bake something with it. Or not bake it, but just use it raw. Because that's yummy too. And I'm going to let this dry out and see how many more seeds I can get off of the side shoots. And this was just having two plants. So I feel like I did pretty good. I love this plant. And it's so beautiful and so tall. Um, once I get my front yard landscaped, maybe next year, I don't know. I just moved in and I just want to do everything all at once and like have all these plans for the house and the yard and the garden but you know just have to do one thing at a time but eventually I'll have the Greek giant amaranth 
growing in the front yard because it's just so pretty and it looks nice. It loves the heat and the hot weather. It did great this summer. Um, it's easy to grow and the neighbors don't know that it's edible so they won't call the city enforcement on me or whatever. That was a reference to Oak Park. If you don't know what's going on up there, look it up. It's really stupid, but it could happen to any of us, so I'm just trying to play it safe here because, you know, I just moved in and don't want to cause any problems, but my neighbors are really cool, so I don't think that any of them would mind, especially since I share some of my produce with them. And... That's a whole nother video what I'm doing in the garden right now. I'm setting up a drip irrigation system and it's awesome. I'm loving it. Uh, about halfway done right now. It's, you know, it takes a little bit of money to set up, but it's not near as expensive as what I thought it would probably be. So it's been good. It's a lot of hard work. Um, I've been tearing up my hands doing it, but it's worth it. It's so good. So yeah. Um, I just wanted to show you the amaranth and, you know, what it looks like looks like when it's uh, cut off the plant. I just cut this off a few minutes ago. So it's fresh. Really pretty purplish uh, maroon color. And then once you do all the threshing and whatnot, these are what you get. The little amaranth seeds. And I did want to mention that you can also eat the leaves. So what I might do tonight is cut the leaves out of off of some of these pieces that I picked. And uh, you can just cook them up like spinach or saute them or whatever. Put them in a salad, eat them raw. They just have a nice color to them. So really good for you and tasty too. Luca likes them too. You like your veggies? No, he's not a big vegetable guy. Most men usually aren't. But that's okay. We love them anyway. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye!